Why are you so tall? That's what I said. Because my stool's so much higher than you guys. I'll slunch. Hey, welcome back to Set List. I'm Joel Carl. And I'm Bobby Morano. And today we have a very special guest, our very own Josh Schellinger. There he is. He's our face of Windsor. Um, Before we get started with Josh here, we are going to talk about our upcoming schedule, which we have concerts coming up. Yes, as well as BCMEA auditions for 7th through ninth graders. Concert first? I can talk concert first. All right, so concert is December 1st. That's a Thursday. Checking date correct? Yep. Josh, Seven date correct? I believe so. I feel so short. Josh is in the tallest chair in the world. Yeah. I don't <laughs> Josh isn't actually this tall. Don't, don't get your... No. Don't get any You're more shorter than me, aren't you? No, I'm taller than you. Yeah, right. It's not a hard um, thing to accomplish. 7 no. p.m., Windsor High School Auditorium. Yeah, so hi, I'm gonna, in case we delete this part by any chance. Yeah, um, it's very low probability yeah. of that. <laughs> uh, so the high school concert, chorus, band, acapella, jazz band, 7 p.m. December 1st. It's a Thursday right when we get back from Thanksgiving break. BCMEA 7 through 9 auditions. December 10th at Main Emwell Middle School. And actually that's 5 through 9. So if you're watching this and you have a 5th grader in the house, up to a ninth grader, anywhere in that window auditioning for BCMEA, that will be that date, December 10th. Also, Tuba Christmas. If you know what that is, uh, a bunch of low brass uh, people from all over, students, professionals, teachers, whoever. Um, we go play at the Oakdale Mall on December 10th. That'll be that afternoon. And it's really cool. We just fill up the whole mall with sound. It's only low brass. So it's like bass a small earthquake. Lower. Yeah. yeah, it is a small earthquake. You can hear it probably from so, very far away. So December 10th could be a music-filled day for you. Yeah. Um, so we got our face of Windsor. Um, this is Josh Schellinger. Is it Schellinger or Schellinger? Schellinger for every single person who like, doesn't pronounce it. Skeleton. 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 Skeleton, like school, like schedule. Skella. So it's Shella, Skeleton. Yep, that's it. Okay. So Josh, talk to us about uh, what, what's your big accomplishment that just went down this week? Yeah, so I found out about a week ago that I was accepted to the all count or the sorry the area all state band um, for bassoon, which is super exciting. How long have you been playing bassoon, Josh? Roughly a year and a half, I believe. Wow, and that's out of six counties in this area. Um, Josh is the top bassoon player, so we're really really stoked that he got picked from you know all the kids from all those schools. In yeah, we're talking, counties. I mean, we're not talking, all county is great. That's impressive. That's a ton of schools. Take all county, add five other counties to it, and that's the, the ensemble that Josh got into. We'll be performing in February at Ithaca College. There's a uh, article on the school website, windsor-csd.org. I'll put a link in the description. You can read more about that if interested. Um, do you have any questions for Josh? Yeah, Josh, so what are some other things that you're involved in here at uh, Windsor High School? What are some music groups, uh, maybe some other clubs that you do here? Um, well, let's see. I'm in jazz band. I'm in acapella. Um, I do Nights of the Rock Table. And then other than music, I do uh, mock trial. I'm in student council. And I believe that's it. Nice. Th- that's it. Oh, yeah. and I work, but... That's, oh, that's it. Oh, man. <laughs> Very empty day. I was a BCC student part of the day, Broome oh, right, Community yep. College. Um you know what? I think uh, you – so based on your list of accolades there, you have uh, in your schedule, you have Mr. Murano quite a bit. You're seeing him quite a bit. Right. You're seeing me quite a bit. So alongside with our show producers, Sydney and Margaret, who you've met before, um, we came up with a, a game we're going to play. And we're going we're gonna to test and see who knows Josh better. Ooh, so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so intro theme song to this, please. Da, 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 da. It's a Juno Josh better. better. Okay. okay. So time for our game with Josh. Uh, the way it's gonna work is how well do you know Josh? Who knows Josh better? So we have questions provided right here. I have not seen them all. Um, I haven't seen them either, to be fair. And Josh hasn't I haven't seen, seen them. them so. Sydney and Margaret, show producers, made these questions. They're pretty ambiguous questions. So <laughs> The way to work is I will ask one of these questions. Josh will write down his answer on his whiteboard. That's right. Then Mr. Morano and I will write down what we think Josh is writing down. Whoever's closer, it might not be exact, but wins. We're going we're gonna to do five questions. If Josh was a farmer, 
What would he grow? If Josh was a farmer, what would he grow? I don't want to see yours. It's top secret. Yeah, this is hard. Do a quick, uh, show, like, to hide from quick you. timer thing. Let's see. I'm not looking at yours. Perfect. This has to be a real farming thing, right? You wrote a real farming thing? Yeah. I wrote a plant. I, okay, all right. It's a plant. I don't want any more hints. I know you so well. I don't even need hints. And just one? Just one? All right. Plant. You would grow... I hope we're on the same man. page, Josh. Probably not. Probably Easy. Not. I got this now. This is a very hard question. I don't even know. Make sure you're already clear. All right, everybody got their answers? Yep. I'm not a farmer. Josh, hold up your answer to the camera nice and clear. Here you go. I said yeah. this. And I said this. And I have no idea what that is. Is it onions? I wrote onions too! <laughs> if it's onions. It's <laughs> what is it? A pine <laughs> tree? Look, they <laughs> smell amazing. High five to onions. Yeah. Onions. I actually we know you better. How that. funny is yeah. that? Look, wow. They smell delicious. I can provide trees for all of my family. Josh, At Christmas time. Well, Josh, that's great, but again, you were wrong. The correct answer, the correct was, answer onions. was onions. That's so um, we can't even keep score on that one. That's insane. Yeah. So it's a tie game. Josh had to pick a new first name. What would it be? To Josh, <laughs> I am that's no longer Josh. Josh. It is now yeah, Watch. Josh. I already know the answer. It's very easy. Is it clear? All right, hold it up to the camera. This is so time. easy. This was easy. All right, here's my answer. Here's my answer. All right, words. what do you got? What do we got, Josh? Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, obviously. Uh, Carl oh. would be the right one for me. You guys uh, are so uh, selfless. So, which, think so Josh, whose answer is more close to yours? Actually, uh, so if Shrek's an ogre, which name is more ogre-esque? Carl. I even took off the I think e, Bobby I definitely sounds a little more ogre-ish to me. Or wait. <laughs> Look. Who gets the point? I think I have to go with Bobby on this. Yes. Thing. All right. One Sweet nothing. Okay. This is question number three. One nothing, Bobby. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Oh man, so Josh, these are being so an animal. Obviously, I. These are just coming to me, and I already know. We're getting really efficient with this. All right. All right hold up your answer there, Josh. Mine. You guys are not going to get this one right. All right. My yeah. answer is this. My what answer is, right? is this. This isn't a spelling test, right? Are you a honey badger? I am not a honey badger. Are you a sloth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a koala, which is basically the same thing. As a, a sloth. Bear. I, mean, gets, I said honey badger because you don't care. You don't care. You just It just all goes off your <laughs> Is off that your what back. a honey badger yeah. is? Honey badgers don't care. Yeah. Disgusting. Where did sloth come from, Mr. Murano? Uh, just... Because I'm Josh basically always, Sid from Ice Age. Yeah, exactly. If Josh could have a TV show, what kind would it be? All right, ready? No. Too bad. Three, two, one, go. No, I'm just kidding. All right, Josh, you can hold yours up while Mr. Morano's finishing. Just don't let him see. I don't want to see it. All right, my answer is right here. <laughs> I'm Make still... up your mind, bro. Wow. Did you change your answer completely? Yeah. Did he look at yours and then change no. it to match yours? Because that's what I feel <laughs> no, like is he happening. Didn't do that. I don't know. All right, what do we got, Josh? What'd you say? Right, so for my answer, I said game show. Game show. It's a documentary comedy like The Office. So mockumentary. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. I knew there was a term. Mockumentary. Like, Mine's murder mystery. <laughs> Why? Who's more right? Why I were you writing children before? What was that? I was gonna write children's thing? comedy, but then I was afraid. Like, I was gonna, then I was afraid I was gonna misspell comedy. Josh's so Funland, yeah. Magical Funland, Adventure Time Funland. Is that a draw? Uh, yeah. I have to go with the mockumentary. Yes, yeah. that's right. a more. Even though I got the name of the show game show, I mean that's kind of a nobody gets it because no one's even close to yours. That's true. You know what? So no one. I just feel like. There. The Steve Harvey. Because it's not even music. related to it. It has to at least be related. Well, I think I, we can give you like that better. one. Because I mean, I got Bobby for Shrek. I don't really think those are related. <laughs> it is more over like. like. That's, oh, okay. Well, All right. You know what? Take I'm the point. Take a point. Yeah. All right. Two more. So there's three. I need to come, come up with this. If he gets three first, because it's best out of five, uh, it's a win. So it's so two to one? It is two to one. So I get nothing, basically. Oh, this is a great one. <laughs> Margaret wrote this one. Where would you go in a time travel machine? Or should I say, when would you go Ooh. in a time travel machine? That's tough. 
That is very tough. All right. So uh, let's hold up our answers. We'll read them, and then we'll see what Josh put, because this could be the winning one. So I put 2004 Panic at the Disco concert. Ooh, their heyday. Oh, man, that's such a good answer. Was 9 in the afternoon written at that point? Yes. No, that was pre-9 in the afternoon. 9 in the afternoon is like the pretty odd. Wait, that was pre-pretty odd? It's pretty odd 2006. I would have liked to go to one with pretty odd. True. This is like... After their first I read album? Since Not Tragedies. So yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Good album, that. good music videos with that. Very good. Uh, I said five minutes before this interview uh, so that he could potentially change his mind and not do it. Because I think, are you regretting? I think you're regretting spending <laughs> time with us. So. Well, I'm sitting in between you two for a long period of time, so. All right, here it is. Who's closer in time? Oh. World War II. Yes! <laughs> not in dangerous places. <laughs> so you're talking back in the home front here. Like Rosie the Riveter situation. I just in. I love the history of World War Two and I love all. So the where's the yeah, where love where was safe it. during World War? Yeah. It's a world it, war. Yeah. Are you saying space? The American mainland was safe. No one. I mean, the only time anyone stepped on American soil was Pearl Harbor, and that was right at the beginning. But mm-hmm. there's so much insi- I probably uncertainty been in the, the time, military, though. That's true. You would, whether you want to or not in that case. But there was so much um, uncertainty whether. Even though you were safe, we know that retrospectively. Well, I think we're speaking we didn't specifically know that time. time travel. I think that you're you not guys gonna be so just, you would know that it's all good here, even right. though everybody else is in a constant state. Just to be able to witness it, I think. Mm. So I think the point you guys are really trying to get at is I win the game. <laughs> That's right. Boom! I admit defeat. So on our faces of Windsor game board, it's now Mr. Morano won, Mr. Carl nothing. So, Josh, what are your plans... For after high school, with this being your senior year? Well, um, I have a few colleges lined up, but I want to major in applied mathematics, maybe minor in music, because I like it so much. Um, Awesome. But yeah, math is definitely where I want to go. Do you have a college in mind? I have a few. um, Cornell, Tufts University, um, Northeastern University, and a few others. Those are great. So, are they all outside of New York State? No. So, so I have, well, um, Cornell, University of Rochester. Oh, you said Cornell. Yeah. And then University of Buffalo. Yep. Um, They're all New York, so. So, Josh, you've been able to juggle both academics and also be, you know, probably one of the most involved students in our music program over the last four years. Um, so if you, uh, if you could give advice to a student right now who's a freshman trying to balance both those things, what would you say? And, and you work on top of that. So yeah. he works, is a phenomenal student, um, and he's also a phenomenal musician. So how do you balance all those three things? Yeah, so one of the most important skills that I've probably learned in my four years here is being able to prioritize. Um, figure out what you need first, then do what you want next. Um, but I think definitely your first year, you should explore and try to do everything um, just to see what everything is like. And then after that, you can choose what you really like. Um, That's great advice. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I really like that. I feel like the number one um, regret of, of students that I hear is, I wish I had gotten into something sooner. Well, that's a wrap for this episode of Setlist. But as always, please send questions, comments, concerns to our Facebook page, uh, Windsor Music Suite. Music Suite is one word. Or Twitter, at Windsor CSD Band. We'll put them at the bottom of your screen right, right now. And... Um, we're always looking for more volunteers and helpers to help us come up with activities, run the camera, run the lights, whatever. Bring your ideas, run segments, be on camera, whatever you want to do. We're looking for helpers. This is uh, starting to get off the ground. Things are going well. So please, if you're interested, come down and help, as our wise friend Josh said. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. Bye.